Dave and us actually, in yeah. order in, in order to uh, to foster a really you know sort of intimate dynamic between Alicia and I, um, David put us in a house together. Uh, you know, so it was sort of, we, we was in this bizarre situation where, you know, I was coming down here to move in with this girl I'd never met for mm -hmm. three months, or excuse me, one month, uh, three weeks. And, um, you know, we met and smoked our first cigarette together, and I was like, all right, this girl's cool, we can hang out. And, uh, you know, we've just, we've spent about every waking moment together for the last three and a half weeks. <laughs> like attached to the hip. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. And it's, you know, it's, it's been great. You know, I, it's, I think it worked. Yeah, you can see it on... I think actually we did come really close. Oh, Kurt, the fuck is this? Some kind of perverted brother and sister act? Just get out! She told all the shots, you know, then she fucking flipped out. You gotta get her some help. Nick wrapped the pea-soaked sheets around her head. How old was she? Nine or ten. It was my job to wash the sheets and hang them out to dry. Then she started to pay him back. How? Oh. She'd hide his tools. One time she'd cut up the leather seat of this old chair he used to sit in and order us about. Used his hunting knife. That's when he started keeping me in the barn at night. He what? He handcuffed her to a post. Gave her some old moldy horse blankets to sleep on. Couldn't you tell the neighbors? Teachers? There wasn't anyone. We lived out in the middle of nowhere. Didn't go to a regular school. Mommy. 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 Why won't you come home? Andy. Mick would sleep with the key. In the morning, he'd give me the key, and I'd go and lock the handcuffs. I tried to seal it once, and he... And he... He beat me.